Hello, welcome back. Today in this uh, video, let us quickly discuss about uh, the Databricks uh, basic arithmetic operations uh, using Databricks for the data frames. And uh, we are talking here about the Spark data frame and what is the basic operation, arithmetic operation that we can perform with a, a Spark data frame. So if you are before getting started, if you are new to the channel, we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notification. So let's get started. So we would recommend you to please uh, pause this and uh, go through this. And next, uh, the course content uh, to, in this video, we will be discussing about data frame basic operations. So, so this is the uh, Databricks uh, setup that we have, uh, uh, and we have all the required data frames and the data setup uh, ready. And uh, if you are uh, new to the new to our channel and this playlist, we would recommend you to please uh, check the previous uh, videos in the same playlist to understand how to get these resources added. Uh, and you can get all these uh, practice notes uh, uh, and you can start practicing so like in this coming to this video so as part of the data frame manipulations we are discussing about the basic arithmetic operations so as you can see we have considered uh, a data frame and we have considered we have selected a few uh, columns here and uh, we are assigning into a data frame so once i execute this as you can see you are able to see the display that uh, it is it is listing all the data types and uh, the columns respective column of that right and now uh, so we'll perform we will use with column right and this is important so with column and we will uh, uh, give a name what is the name of the operation that we are performing so we are performing expected net of uh, net paid and to do that, what we are using is we are using two columns. One is uh, WS qu quantity and another is WS wholesale cost. So what we are doing, we are doing a multiplication. So with column will take is here taking three parameters. Basically, it's taking two parameters. One is uh, the the name itself. What is the column that you are adding, and what is the operation that you are adding to that? So once you execute this, what happens? Let us see, right? So it, it is creating the uh, new data frame, sales KPI data frame, and uh, it is uh, it has already added a new uh, column, right? And which is a decimal 18 comma two. So now let us try to display this. So what we are expecting here is once it displays, uh, we are expecting a new column to be added, and uh, the calculation this calculation is performed, right? So as you can see, uh, <clears throat> it has performed this operation already. That is, uh, so if you take uh, this as an example, right? Uh, WS quantity and WS wholesale cost. WS quantity and WS wholesale cost. So it will be multiplied and you get the result here, expected net paid. So this is how you can perform a basic operation. So the important thing here, uh, if you carefully observe, what you are doing is you are actually using a data frame right the existing data frame dot with column you are adding a new column right and you are performing the uh, basic operations so there are two parts of it this is a name and this is an operation and uh, when you are doing operation on a column it is mandatory to mention the dollar that means you are actually uh, specifying that you are using those columns column names for the operations and also you can perform any kind of operations here when we say any kind of operation you can use other operations also like say for example you can even use other options like this right so here we are using calculated profit we are using unit price rounded unit price b rounded unit price etc so as you can see we are using round function b round function and here we are using expr so this is also a quite interesting right so this is another way of uh, handling this so as you can see here we used dollar when you are specifying we are using dollar dollar right so but you can on the contrary you can use if you don't want to use a dollar right so you can use expr and then directly specify the column, column names without the dollar symbol and perform the operations and you can also use the math functions like round 
B round, etc. So once you execute this, if you finally execute the result, you can see these new columns will be added to this. So as you can see, the new columns like a calculated profit, unit price, rounded price, B rounded price, etc. has been added now. So you can uh, use this uh, different ways like one is by giving the dot and uh, another one is uh, by just giving the expr function and uh, you can use the column names without the dollar. So just uh, you can uh, practice, uh, you can use this uh, demo notebooks uh, that we will send and you can start practicing so that you'll be able to understand this uh, much better when you do the hands on. So hope this was useful and uh, thanks for watching.